Immersed Robot. Since the addition of VR support and No Man's Sky, it has consistently been one of the most demanding games in terms of performance on the PC VR platform. It has always suffered from varying degrees of performance issues, and while these have occasionally been specifically addressed by Hello Games in updates, it has never completely removed stuttering, hitches, and reprojection. Since I've upgraded my PC recently, I decided to revisit No Man's Sky to see if I can finally get a smooth experience. For reference, the footage I am showing in this video was collected on a PC with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X CPU, an NVIDIA RTX 3080 GPU, and 32GB of DDR4 3600MHz RAM. I am also using a Valve Index headset. I was recording this footage on the same PC, running OBS software, so that might account for slightly lower performance than could be expected. As you can see, I am running FPS VR to monitor the frame rate at the bottom of the screen. I initially started by selecting a new game in creative mode and found myself on the surface of an ice-based world. I had the index set on a refresh rate of 144Hz to begin with, at 150% super sampling. As you can see, the GPU is obviously struggling with this absurd attempt and is running at half the native frame rate. A slightly fluctuating 72Hz. I decided to drop it down to 120Hz refresh rate and could then maintain a pretty consistent 60fps, relying on reprojection once again. I should say that although I was in constant reprojection, the experience actually felt extremely smooth and was happy to keep playing on this setting. However, I decided to try it on 90, and as expected, this also ran in almost constant reprojection with 45fps. The GPU and CPU frame timing graphs shows a much more comfortable write at this point. Even when trying the game on 80Hz and maintaining 150% super sampling, I was struggling to maintain frames without occasionally relying on reprojection. For reference, you can see my graphical settings in game here. I dropped anisotropic filtering, but I found that didn't affect fame rate too much. I jumped in my ship and decided to take to the skies. Flying around over a planet's surface can often deliver the worst case performance scenarios in this game, and as you can see the frame rate fluctuates quite a lot. In space, it's a different story. There is much less demand on the system, but I did find I was unable to maintain 120 frames per second while testing the game today. I'm not sure why this is, as I have been able to achieve this comfortably just recently. I'm sure recording this footage in OBS must have had some kind of impact on my performance. I then went down to the surface of a neighboring planet. Again, frame rate was highly inconsistent while flying over the surface, and it really pushes the system to its limits. Once I was on foot, I experienced very similar performance to the previous planet. That is, almost constant reprojection, with occasional stutters. I did find that I had the best overall experience when running the index on 120Hz and relying on the half frame rate reprojection with motion smoothing. This felt extremely smooth, with very little in the way of hitches or stuttering. Back in space, my next port of call was the system space station. I've generally found that these are less demanding than other areas of the game.
as expected, this area was running particularly well overall. I do drop into reprojection, but once again, I put this down to recording as I can inform you that I've maintained a consistent 90 and even 120 FPS in space stations on other occasions. I ramped the refresh rate back up to 120 Hz and flew down to another planet. Once again 60 FPS was the status quo here, but it still felt remarkably smooth. Motion smoothing within Steam VR definitely helps the overall experience when relying on reprojection, and I was surprised by how little I noticed a half frame rate gameplay. In conclusion, No Man's Sky is a game that still suffers from numerous performance issues in VR. No matter what system you're running it on, you can still expect to run most areas of the game in reprojection. If you drop a trite down to 80Hz and with super sampling set at 100%, then it's possible you might get a relatively consistent native frame rate. But go in understanding that you might be running the game at half frame rate for most of the time in anything beyond this. I did notice a significant overall jump in performance, coming from a 1080 Ti. There was noticeably less hitching and pauses as the game seemed to load in scenery from time to time. Running the game now on a 3080 and relying on reprojection and motion smoothing was a very good overall experience. Hopefully Hello Games will continue to update this game and include further performance optimizations for PC VR players. I hope you enjoyed this brief performance analysis of No Man's Sky. Well that's pretty much it for this video. Please hesitantly tap the like button, and if it's not too much of an inconvenience, then please also subscribe to this channel for more VR-focused content. I'll see you all on the flippity flip.